Are you dreading the end of the school year as summer is approaching and you need to clean out your Canvas course? Don't worry because in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know when preparing your Canvas course for next year. Hey guys, it's Lauren and as we get closer to summer, it is starting to become like the perfect time for us to prepare our Canvas course for the following school year. So whether you are planning to update your Canvas course this summer or you're switching school districts, don't worry, I've got you covered. The first thing that you should do in order to prepare your course for next year is to make a copy. Now, why would we wanna make a copy of the course? I'm gonna show you that right now. So in my math course here, when I go to settings, you are going to see that there is a start and end date. So right here, you can see the end date is May 24th. So meaning after this date, I can no longer go into this course and edit it. I can always access the information later if I need to, but it's just good to start copying this course. So really simple steps. We're gonna come over here and click copy this course. So I'm gonna click that and then we're going to, we can rename it. So the new course name, let's just give it sandbox math. And now I am going to actually get rid of these start and end dates. We want all the content. You don't have to do all the content. If you want to like get rid of certain things that you're not using, you can select specific content. And I highly suggest that you do that because when you click create course, you can select content and now go through all of the different parts and cut down and leave behind anything, let's say that you're not using. I don't have a lot in this course, but you can see I've got some files in here so I can even go and go, I don't need that folder. I just need this folder for the pages. I'm going to, you know, bring over my home pages. I want all of the same settings and I want my syllabus. So then for from there, you can select that content. It will then make and generate an automatic copy. So now it's completed. Now all I have to do is go into the dashboard and you will find it now the exact same course with all of the things that I wanted to bring over uh, in this sandbox course, which is great because now I can add to it. I can update it and do all of the things I need to over the summer. And of course, prepare for next year. Another option for those of you that maybe have multiple courses and are kind of trying to combine everything together, uh, you can, instead of copying the course, you can start a new sandbox course like so. So I'm just gonna title this sandbox course and then maybe the year and create that. Now, the reason why you might wanna do it this way instead of copying a Canvas course is now we can import course content from multiple classes. So whether that be from classes in the past or maybe courses that other teachers have shared with you and you like some of their content and you want to use it in your course next year, I would suggest create a new course and then you're going to import by copying different Canvas courses in here. So all you would do, let's say I want to go to that math class again. So I'm going to do math. We'll do specific content import. This time I'm going to copy another course and let's say it's a different math course. So I have this one and I also have this course here. So this is the second math course that I'm going to again select specific content. Also quick note here, I didn't do it on the first one, but I'll show you on the second one. For options, if you want to adjust event due dates, I highly suggest you do that because and this is whether or not you copy a Canvas course or import content for the following school year because it's so great you can actually remove all of the dates. So you're not switching everything the following school year, which I've done uh, uh, way too many times. So this is a great feature. You should definitely include that when you're importing your content or copying your content. So now that I have these two courses in here, I can select each one and grab, let's say, all the content that I want from each of them and go through it. And this is really nice because instead of copying independent courses, you're creating one empty course and you're adding all of this new content from other teachers 
teachers or previous courses. So again, it's just really nice to be able to pick and choose. Uh, you Instead of copying a course, you created the course first and imported all of the different content from different courses, which is really nice little added bonus. Right, so there. I've shown you how to copy a course. I've shown you how to create a sandbox course and then import content. The last thing I am going to show you is how you can export your course. So that way later, if you switch school districts, you can import that course content into their Canvas specific instance or another word for instance would be like their URL or Canvas site. You probably are aware there are lots of different Canvas sites. You can see up here at the top, mine is canvasqueen.instructure.com. Your school district probably has a specific URL created just for them or instance. So uh, if you're switching school districts, you're switching instances, create a course copy and then uh, we'll export that to our computer and then you can import it. So we are just going to go, let's do science this time. That's my subject. And we're going to go to settings and over here uh, right above me is export course content. We are going to create an export of this course. It will take a while to download. For me, it probably won't take that long because I don't have a lot of content in this course. Um, and then it's going to populate as new export. You're going to click it, and this is what you can see it's loading up here, download to your computer. I just clicked and dragged it to my desktop. I'm gonna actually go to the free for teachers version of Canvas, and I save a lot of my stuff here actually. I'm gonna create a new course and we're just going to title this, um, let's do another sandbox and we'll say science for this since that was the subject. And then I'm just gonna go over to import course content again. We are going to select this time Canvas course export package. I'm gonna choose the file, click and drag it right there. We want all the content. Again, we can remove all the due dates, which whoop, whoop, great thing. Love it. Import all of that content. It's not going to take very long because I don't have a lot of stuff in here. And then when I click on the home page, there's the page that I've transferred over. So I just, I barely had anything in here, but you can see that I transferred from one instance, which was my Canvas Queen, uh, Canvas Instant account to the free for teachers version here. So uh, yes, you can save courses to your computer, which is awesome. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found that the content in this video was helpful, I would greatly appreciate if you liked this video. Also, if you wanna stick around a while and catch more Canvas tips and tricks, subscribe. Also, quick update, I now have merch, which is really fun, Canvas. Uh, K-12 specific merch. So if you wanna support the channel, you can actually find uh, below there should be like a little panel of all of my merch that you can go through. I would greatly appreciate it if you check that out. Hopefully I will see you guys on the next one.